Okay, this is going to be a tutorial for a four beat corkscrew. And this is kind of what the move looks like. Do it nice and slow for you. Or if you shorten your strings a little, you can do it like this right in front of you. I'm going to try to give you some other camera angles on this because it's probably kind of hard to see exactly what I'm doing. Basically, in your regular corkscrew, your hands don't really twist that much. They just come to the maximum twist that they get is maybe like this where they're kind of just side to side. What you're going to want to do for the 4B corkscrew is continue twisting them another 180 degrees so that they're twisted that extra little bit. And just the same as on your regular two beat, you're always leading with one hand and you're always following with the other. I tend to lead more with my left hand. This direction just seems the easiest for me. So in my two beat, I'm always leading with my left hand, always crossing the new side first. So when I switch into the four beat, I switch which hands I'm leading with, but it still stays the same that you're always leading with one hand, because my right hand is always crossing to the top first, and it's always crossing to the bottom first. My left is following it. So to me, just add that extra rotation, and you can go into it. So. Okay, so when you're doing this, if you watch the hands and get to the top, I'm, I kind of put my underside of the leading wrist on top of the back side of the other one so that I can spin below there. Because otherwise, if you don't have that tuck, it's hard to cross over that new side. So you do the little tuck thing, then you follow it, and then when you get to the bottom, the leading hand is going to tuck the other way. This time it was kind of over the other one. On the underside, it's going to be on the bottom, tipping up first. So you're going to use that, bend your wrist back so that you can get to the top of the rotation again. Whereas here, you're bending it down. So you bend it down, bend it back. And when you're bending this one back to go up to the top, you're going to complete another rotation on the bottom with this one before it follows and untwists. So, that's what you're doing. Hopefully this will be helpful for you. And once you figure it out, then you can start messing around with it. And just screw around with it. It's a lot of fun. And that should help you also in learning the four beat corkscrew, which is essentially the same exact motion, just in a windmill motion rather than a corkscrew. So, enjoy.